who are prepared to make the sacrifices, who are prepared to sweat, to bleed, to believe, who will be our champions. They have forged over 25 weeks, over 15 league rounds, over 96 games, and over 8,000 minutes of red hot rugby. Get ready to pick your team and go. Good evening and welcome back to Kings Park here in the heart of the Kowloon Peninsula here in Hong Kong where we have an absolutely sumptuous matchup in the ladies grand final of the Premiership between Hong Kong Football Club Natixis Ice and Sok Gen Valley. And I'm welcomed in co-commentary with Kim. How are you? Hey, Cookie. I am so excited. This is the match I was hoping it was going to be. Football club, three quarters of the season, it's been their season. They've been the consistent team. It looked like this for the taking. Valley, the rises at the end. Who's yeah. going to take it today? So exciting. Yeah, so to set this up, um, the league champions are Natixis Ice. Um, 57 points heading the table and uh, second place were Sock Gem Valley. So as you say, this is the matchup that everybody wanted for the final. Football club in their 15 games, 12 wins, three losses. Who were the three losses to? Three losses <laughs> to Valley. And uh, The first one was tight. We had a little 5-7 to kick us off. Uh, we were in commentary for the second one. Yeah, we thought that Valley would maybe take it, but we're surprised at the 14-44 loss from Football Club. Absolutely. Clare. And then, then the final game was an absolute thumping. Yeah. 71-10. So now, that was just a couple weeks ago. So yep. you've got to take note. That's probably psychologically weighing on Football Club's mind. It's certainly going to give Valley a really powerful confidence coming into this game. Yeah. And if we dial it all the way back a year ago when we sat here for this game, football club came in as league champions and very much as red-hot favourites last year. And Valley did a fantastic number on them last year and, uh, and got the win. So Valley are the reigning champions. Valley are the champions. It has to be said... Football Club have had a beautiful rise. I've loved watching, you know, just some seasons ago, there were a team that clubs were putting points and points and points on. They are now such a strong club. They are such a hard win to get. They so deserve to be in this final, but they haven't had the experience of winning a lot of finals. Whereas Valley, over the last decade, are often the ones coming with the cup. And there's something about that. There's something about a team that's been here before, and has made it all the way through and got the shiny trophy at the end. That really helps you. Yeah, absolutely. So to explain for those people um, who don't know, the Women's Premiership in Hong Kong is contested by six teams. Um, we have Club and Valley who are in the final, Kowloon and Tigers who were the losing semi-finalists who both played their part and pushed the teams uh, really hard. And then we have SCAA, Causeway Bay and Gaiwu Ladies. And here we have Kia Hurawini leading the team out. Great with young teams. Mr. Fusey with that flag. Great heritage in that family. Their grandfather was one of the founder members of the Valley Club, Jamie Scott, on the board of the Hong Kong Rugby Union, Asia Rugby and the World Rugby Council for many years, so an awful lot of uh, heritage within the Valley Club. And Football Club, they will really be up for this game, Kim, after those three chastening defeats in the league. I'm sure they'll not want to uh, go down and, uh, and not win the grand final. No, as I said, they've had such a great season. They've been so dominant most of the season. 
Uh, they'd love to finish that off with a big win and also just to get that last laugh, finally be Valley this year and do it when it matters most. Yeah, absolutely. And a um, couple of notable, um, notable things with football club. Meg uh, Richardson, new mother, is, uh, is back into the side. And Cheryl Gourlay today will be her hundredth run out for football club in the Premiership. So all the best to Cheryl for her hundredth. So Valley kicking off in their familiar red and black shirts from right to left. Meg Richardson that you just mentioned has gotten straight into the action. She's been a stalwart of the football club team. Certainly in those, uh, in that Super Saturday defeat, um, uh, the dominance of the Valley Scrum was absolutely huge. So they'll be glad um, to see Meg Richardson like this all day, okay? back in for this. Yep. Tova uh, Nanai Ayafeta as well, and Theon Gott. Absolutely crucial, and Rashini Turner was not there that day either. Good early uh, carry there from Taffy, but the ball spills loose. Gabby Rivers, and a really strong carry there from Zoe Tees. Zoe Tees always doing the hard work. Rachel Fung's taking out wide. Fighting through some Valley players there. Some decent defense here from Valley, but Football Club making some good yards here. Doing well with the ball in hand and onto that left edge. That was a good carry there by Rivers. Tease picks up that loose ball. Oh, and a great steal there over the ball. It's excellent work there from Valley. Zach Lamb has so come in at 12 today. Last minute change. Bella Milo doubles round there and gets a really good ball to Zoe Smith. She's bundled out into touch, unfortunately, but a nice little bit of play. There from Valley. And good to see Dino Hurawini, proud father of uh, Valley skipper Kia. No doubt somewhere in the mighty Waikato. Good to have you on board, Dino. Zoe Tees up the middle. Crashes through nicely there. Rachel Fong there with a really good service from the base. You feel that club will want to get a good start to this game and exercise some of these demons they've no doubt had these last few weeks. Club often starts very well against Valley, so they'll definitely want to capitalize on that. They usually have good starts, so you want to get some points for that. AD there scrambling to get the ball for Valley. Unfortunately, it's going to go the way of football club for her. So our referee, Francesco Camisa, gives the knock on there, just on the ground there as they were scrambling for the ball. This is his 25th appointment in the Women's Premiership. One of our more experienced referees in Hong Kong. And also good to see Cam McIntosh all the way from Queensland. UTC, which I'm sure Crush. means up the club. So this all important first scrummage, Kim. I know you've been looking forward to it. Set. Rachel Fung with ball in. Oh, and dominance there from Valley, but Fong clears the ball. Georgia cut. We haven't Move seen away. as much of her this season. I hear she's due to have surgery on her hand. I'm 13. sure she's going to give it all she got in this last game of the season. Come on. 
So Gabby Rivers with this kick to the sideline. And football club take play down to inside the valley half. First time they'll have got to hold the ball and they'll be right in front of that uh, uh, packed step. area of the crowd. Great take from Rosh Turner there. Zoe Tis again. Always up the middle. Great ball carry. Taffy is over that ball. And that's a really good steal. Excellent work. It's actually her birthday today. And rumor has it she's promised to get a valley tattoo if Valley wins. <laughs> that is uh, good news. So Zoe Tis down on her haunches here, taking a little bit of treatment. Literally only about five minutes gone in this game so far, but she's made carries and tackles and really got stuck in. Looks like it might be uh, some kind of blood injury. Hopefully we can get that cleaned up. She's such a workhorse for this football club team. We got ball at the back, so we play away. So the mechanics on. Like it's sunny out there on that if pitch, so I think everyone's happy if they get a little s squirt of hydration. Yeah, it's okay. about 27 degrees uh, here in Hong Kong, 4.30 in the afternoon. And there's just a reasonable breeze, probably just about favoring football club but it's blowing onto this near side touchline where Bella Milo is uh, kicking to, and that's a fantastic mm. uh, clearance. Beauty. Some slight controversy. Bella picked up a red card last uh, Saturday evening playing Tigers. and She, uh, she did, it was unclear if she'd obviously be allowed to play. And uh, was downgraded at the judicial to a yellow, so she was free to play. So Tanya Dar with the throw to this line out. They go long and that is a great take. Bella carries it to the line. Karen Soe's come in at six this year. She obviously has been known to be a hooker. She's captain Hong Kong national team. It's been great to see her in a new position. Tyler Boyder though is running down the sideline. She's given the ball away to football club though. They're choosing to run it. Some really good work there from Rosie Inglis. Tavia Ayafeta. Obviously coming from some fantastic stock. Both her mother and father having played for Hong Kong. Bella carries it back hard to the line. Inglis, Tanya Dar drops that shoulder. Takes two or three club players to haul her down. So Valley just trying to put the phases together here. Bella directing traffic to the right-hand side. English carries it in. And Hurawini. Arrive up, Valley! Takes it herself, made a little bit of ground. Valley finally choosing to let the backs have a go. Beautiful fight there from Dak Lam. She, of course, comes between being a center and in the forward pack, so she's used to a lot of contact. Tanya, Tanya Da has already been well involved. You're fine, but you need to roll quicker. And Zoe Teese with that tissue rammed up her nose to try and staunch the flow, trying to get in over the ball. Yeah, can you just get your players arriving up at the breakdown? Regularly on a Saturday morning, I have uh, had my breakfast at a particular oh, bar, right and uh, many of the Valley and Club girls are breakfasting together, but they weren't this morning. It was just the <laughs> football club girls. Uh, go back 10, please, club. Put Zoe T. Rosh Turner. And Octavia Aya Feta. We're all there. Good steal there from Turner. Football club have scrambled and got that ball back. Excellent work really from Really had to there. work hard there. Oh. 
What a great tackle there from Valley. Really thought Fob Club were about to get the ball out of the danger zone. Frank, have a word with Red Lucet. Yep. They should need to drive straight, not yep, drive sure. in. Uh, just stay straight. Yeah, yeah, just will manage it. I think now we'll really get to see that you Valley scrum up. fired up. Okay, you got it. They're edging close to the try line. So, Harawini, Lerm, and Dar. It's a real family affair in this front row. Andrea Lung, her husband Faisal Solomona. Also prop forward for the Valley men's prem team. So Lee with a feed to this ball. Dar in the middle. And that's steady progress, but they let the ball come. Milo carries it to the line. Slips the ball. Oh, in fact, she held on to it. Right up, Valley. <laughs> Valley under the shadow of the post. Hands up, hands up. The clubhouse end of the game ground. Driving tight here. Using their forwards. Keep going, keep going. They're edging a centimetre at a time hands here. Up, hands up, hands up. So just about up. five metres away now. Here, Heroini there. Some real heavy carriers here. Karen so attempts to go, so he de smashes her back though. Use it! So Brill over the ball there. Oh, and up wide they come. Bella herself, guys. And Milo stretches through, but I think there's been a really good tackle there by Gabby Rivers. Both teams are cheering. And a scrum has been awarded. Milo was so close to getting the touchdown there. What a great piece of defense there from Hong Kong Football Club. I'm going to stand this side. I think last scrum you weren't square. So I could see from Absolute where I Absolute elation there straight. from Gabby Rivers. She made that tackle. We've got the Valley men's prem team here singing on the sidelines. A little bit of zombie there. Crouch! Courtesy of the uh, Cranberries and the Ireland supporters. Just get up. Yeah, just, just, keep, just keep your head outside. Yeah. Be a Please real pressure scrummage that here. Okay. Control that space, right? Inglis and Davis in the second row. <laughs> the Valley. Taffy at eight. Crouch. And Rachel Fong will want to get this Bind. ball in and away as quickly as she can. Set. Big push from Valley. Good work there. Clearance is good. Takes play to outside of the club. 22. Uh, club, you've got the line. So just about 11 or 12 minutes played, and uh, it's still even, Stevens. No one on looks line. quite in their groove just yet either. Most of the game has territorially been played down in this club half of the field. Dar with the throw here. Oh, Football Club get their hand in the way. Oh, Andrew Leung there tackling without the ball. Tackling the player off the ball. It was a good throw by Dar, but just not gathered in by Valley. Dar has really improved in these last couple of seasons uh, since coming the to the Valley Club from Sandy Bay. She's now a full Hong Kong international. And she's an absolute heartbeat of this dominant front row that Valley has. Looks like she's setting up as the tail gunner receiver for this line out. Good take there from Turner. Another great carry there. Oh, oh some good interplay there. And Rivers has been to the fore in both attack and defense. Yes, winning. Oh, and Andrea Lung 
through on the crumbs there. Saw getting the Valley back onto the front foot. We've got a back line of forwards here. Valley are making it work. Two front rowers, and they get the ball to Borta. She looks after on that right edge. Milo to Dar. Oh, she did well to hang on to that. Dar fighting through there. Heruini in for support. Into the hands of Bella. A little bit of confusion there, unfortunately, for Valley. I'm going to say this side, yeah. Talk about seizing the moment for Andrew Lung. No, there's nothing wrong with that. It's good scrum. Which for you? Right here. Yeah. Yep. That's a better space hooker. So another scrummage with an ice speed. Crunch. Rachel Fong has done well to get this ball in and away Mines. so far. Set. Reset. Which we get. Um, feet underneath you and just shoulders above hips. Yep. So say so Valley have looked a slightly stronger scrummage but football club have got the ball away cleanly each time their forwards coach Andrew Hall former Hong Kong coach and Crouch. Scotland international himself will have been working really hard since those last two games yeah, I think they know that they need to do it quickly, and they do, and it's working really well from them. Two knock on. A lot of pressure so, there. Yeah, that ball just lost forward. Georgia cut there, although she managed to kick the ball before it hit the ground. If you've actually lost control of it out of your hands and then you kick it, it's still deemed a knock on. You're in charge of this gap. So we've got well over 200 people watching into this game from around the world. Crouch! Feel free to Bind. give us a message in the chat and we'll see Set. if we can shout you out wherever you are in the world. So Lee with a feed. Oh, and Valley looking strong in this dominant one. Dominant scrummage and Taffy holds it in. What excellent work there from Valley. Really good control at the base there from Valley. And they absolutely need to use that scrummage to gain an advantage. Milo pushes the ball just inside the football club 22. Valley slowly making their way to this line out. Dar with a throw. Valley suddenly looking very calm today, not too panicky. Beautiful line up there, straight into the hands of AD. Oh, Taffy popping up in the center, but she loses the ball in contact there. There's been some real mongrel in the defensive line from Football Club. Some good work there. Katie McLeod carrying that ball. Advantage over. Still in though. Chased by Valley number 15, Hawuko Matsu. We haven't seen too much of her yet this game, but here she goes. Oh, some real pressure coming on from club here. Valley having to work hard to get back for this. Milo looks after this. Okay, Harwini calling for it. Pops it over to Tanya Da. Megan Richardson being 
Right there, the wreck. So we've got to go Taffy in the chat. All the way from Dunedin. Elder sister, good to see you and have you on board. This football club start to go through the gears here. They go down this short side. They're right in front of their supporters crew. Get Can bundled into touch. Kind of ran up a bit of a dark alley there. They were looking good. And also the Cooper Einan family from Finland supporting Kira. And good to see that Ollie Stratton is in the chat. Couple of days he spent at the Roslyn Park UK National School Sevens, where his son sadly went down in a thrilling final between Harrow and Millfield. Mil Millfield Do just got the edge on that, but uh, hope you had a good time, Ollie. So we've got the mechanics uh, on now. Water's off now, water's off. Valley. Looks uh, like Rosie English just getting a bit of uh, cold water on the neck right. there. All right, water's off now, thank you. Taja Takala, go ice. Finland is watching. <laughs> so great to have the support from all over. Time's on. From every hemisphere. And good to have uh, Natsi and Soph injured ice girls. Oh, great it. carry here from Taffy. Some really good post-contact meters she's taken there. It's uh, extra birthday vibe she's feeling. Now nine. Time your run. Once again, we've got a Time Bella boot. Hanging kick there from Bella. Zoe Smith in chase there. A lot of pressure coming from her. She hasn't had too much ball today. Great high hanging kick there from Bella. So this game, a real arm wrestle. 20 minutes in and we're still nil-nil. Everything to play for. It's finals rugby cookie. So Dar, she'll be looking for either Inglis or Davis here. How wrong I was. Milo plays it through the front line there. And a real solid carry driving into the 22 legs pumping fantastic work there it's karen sorry assisted by zoe smith nice to see a wing oh, really good getting hands in. there bortha on the ball frees her hands ah oh, haruka getting to through yumatsu who's had a fantastic season for valley she's a new player and she has just been immense for valley it's been so much fun to watch her this season young 17 year old that stepped into this level of rugby seamlessly Dar with a good offload there fun fact Tanya Dar was actually uh, her coach that's yeah that's correct and now they're playing together in a Grand Champs final um, just your shooters on the breakdown it's very borderline so Valley just running out of uh, space there in the background there Valley men's prem coach Gus Ledger. Are you a receiver? Get it, get it, but get back then. Oh, get back. great take there by Rosh Turner. She cleverly takes a couple of meters. On oh, the ball's landed in the hands of Bella Milo. Yamatsu. She's been a real dangerous threat from the back all season. Ball's out. Some good work there from Cheryl Gourlay trying to make a Horlix of that. Oh. Oh. Zoe Smith left the ball behind. Opportunity here for club to counter attack. Rosie Inglis with a mass tackle tackle. And the ball's really last good work there from Gabby Rivers. Just tried to free her hands, but spilled the ball. That was a big potential there for football club. 
Both teams absolutely giving it everything here. I can't say who's hungrier, Cookie. Doing what you're doing? No problem. <laughs> Everyone's wanting it. I'll stay, yeah, I'll stay this side. And some support in the chat for Jamie Burke from Paul Gallino. Crouch! Let's go, baby, Jamie Burke. Find. So another opportunity Set. for Valley. I'm sure we'll see them keep it at their feet and try and get the penalty. Uh, Great control, and they've got the advantage. Good play there. They've now got a free shot here, and the ball's lost, so they'll come back for that scrummage. Really making such great use of that strong scrum of Valley. Frank, Mark is with me. Mark is with me. Thank you. Inside 10. Tight head. Angle. So this is a probably outside of Bella's range to go for goal. So she's going to look to push the ball deep. Safely into touch. Probably about 16, 17 metres to go to the line. It's once I, once I call set, it's already on Valley the Valley have had quite a few line outs around the zone. Nothing quite has come away from it yet, though. So Dar with the throw into this line out. Turner goes up and the ball goes completely over the top. Bella has to come in there and cover tackle. Zero Learn came up with the ball. Turner fighting for every inch on the ground there. A little bit of a pressured kick there. We haven't made too many meters. You have the edge. So we're back in the spot we started in. And good to see that uh, Lesna and I, Ayafeta, cheering in Valley, from Central Hawks Bay. And Sophie Feller cheering in from Dubai. Good Sophie, to have of you course, all aboard. Uh, a men's for football club last season. She's now a German international player, both sevens and fifteens. Has recently moved to Dubai. Meg Richardson digging in for that one, but has given the penalty away. Bella Milo with a drop goal. Slices it right through the middle. Couldn't make it look easier, Bella Milo. And that would be our first points of this entire match. So with penalty advantage, so she... Uh, she does a bit of a Marcus Smith as he did for England to break Irish hearts at Twickenham two weeks ago. Just cool as you like. So it's been a really attritional game so far. The only part that uh, honestly Valley have had the upper hand has been in, um, in the scrummage and uh, they've been able to milk two or three penalties which have allowed them to gain territory and it's why they probably won this mid no, mid third no, battle has been the dominance of the scrummage so uh, football club will want to work to sort that out yeah it's a little just bit of a tension here got a few Sorry, can I have some tape, please? This keeps falling out. The so as we've right, said 26 yeah, minutes in 27 minutes in 3-0 and the first points are a drop goal. We've got a high calibre of hydration specialists as Rebecca Thompson requested to be called. Uh, so nice to see yourself, Rebecca Thompson out for Valley. I've seen Nadia Kivele run on. Um, she's a, a Hong Kong international but has right, another baby on me. board. Um, and then a football club side as well. We've got Biddy, we've got Christy, 
It's just really great to see players, even if they can't take to the field today, yeah. they're there with their team, they're there supporting right. the team the best they can. Biddy, Biddy right, Sefton as well for football, football Club. Christy Cheng for Football Club. She's been such a stalwart of women's rugby here in Hong Kong. Good take there by Davis. Carries it safely into contact. And Taffy again, just trying to free the arms, but looks after it. And Lee sets up, pulls the ball back to Milo. High hanging kick. Wonderfully well taken. taken Cheryl Gourlay there, notching up her century today. Just picks and goes around the edge there. And again, it's a very definite uh, tactic of going down the short side. Rachel Fong taking it all the way to the edge. Rashini Turner looked to turn it inside, but the referee was blocking the, blocking the angle. Rosie Inglis Rosie. on the floor. Oh. Man just to rip that ball away. It's back in the hands of Bella Milo. She thinks about kicking it and goes, no, nah, I'm going to run a little bit. Passes it off to AD. Keeps the ball in hand quite nicely there. Valley not looking quite sure which side they're going to go. They choose right, Tanya Da. Oh, she crashes through. Good choice. And they go down this right edge just in the tram lines. Taffy again takes the ball off, oh. sits her down. Taffy on your birthday, keep Great going. Great break, and she looks after the ball. But some really good work on the floor there. Great work, great defence there from Football Club. Yeah, unfortunately, she was lacking in support. Holding. What can you do when you're alone? And once again, that Football Club defence. Annie Bunting the there with a really good jackal. But Taffy absolutely sat them down there and then romped off for about another 10 or 15 metres. On the edge, Danny. Yep. And we've got a let's go, Bella, from your Waikato fam. Another great take in the line out there from Turner. And yeah. a big wide ball there. Rivers had to pull that one back in. Advantage. Given space, this football club backline are beautiful to watch. Just haven't had on. too much opportunity. On Agnes Chan. No advantage. So going back. Going back for the penalty. So Fong just about 10 to go to half time. Uh, Gabby Rivers end, yeah. carves off about 10 metres. So just um, inside their own half here. Fion got with the throw here. Great throw and take by Turner. And a really good show and go there from Fong. Been very impressed with the club's lineouts. Zoe Tees again with a good carry there. Getting out to that left edge again, but a good tackle in the wide channel there. Tanya Dar rushes up there in defence. Arrive up next time. Football club looking in control here. Going through a few phases. Oh, and a great steal on the four there from Rosie Inglis. Once again with Rosie Inglis, she's just having a cracker of the game. Recently travelled with Hong Kong to Australia. She's still awaiting that first Hong Kong cap though, yeah, and if she keeps playing like this, let's hope that will be soon in the future. Ro, Ro Turner there. Yeah, time is off. Rosh Turner in the uh, in the wards a little bit there. Just received a uh, WhatsApp message from Ed Fitzgerald. 
much to my surprise that uh, you actually have the internet in Scotland. <laughs> Great, thank you very much. Um, uh, last so time there was no contest at the breakdown, but just Turner arrived. taking a little bit of treatment there. Right, Crucial figure now, for this football club side. Born in Malaysia, the father was a Hong Kong international. And she played in the English Women's Premiership, the DMP Sharks. But is now very much a leader for Hong Kong. And football club. Ball hanging on to that touchline. Uh, you've got the edge club. In the line? Yeah, edge of the line. As we've said, this has been a real mid-third arm wrestle here, Kim. Mm. Absolutely. Valley just, uh, club, club, just shading it. So Dahl with another opportunity to um, Yeah, the Valley lineups line out. haven't been quite as clean as football club and a little bit of pressure, but that one is a beauty. Milo carries it to the line just forces so much attention and there's Inglis very good tackle there from Gabby Rivers it's football club defense is she's looked oh. after that ball really well Meg Richardson looking to get involved on oh, a really good one two there Bella Milo gets the ball back Valley sending a lot of players into that rack Good work on the floor there again. Lee to Haruka. Great step inside. She always seems to make it past just a few more people than you think she's going to. Just a few more steps. Oh, more Rosie than Inglis well. just loses the ball in contact there. Not on. Some consistent defense there from Hong Kong Football Club. No, We chatted about it a, a yeah, lot yeah, the last the few weeks ago when we were here watching these two teams play. When you have that dominant uh, scrum and it doesn't quite go your way, but it's so a scrum penalty, you still kind of feel like it's gone your way. <laughs> Such a psychological win there. So Fong, Fong with this feed. Club will want to get away from this danger zone. And they want to clear this ball from this scrummage. Big push as expected from Valley. Rachel Fung doing all the work and getting it out as best as she could. Milo really putting the pressure on to Bunting there. Forces the line out. Only about 10 metres out now from the club line. Just so hard to get that ball into a safe place. With so much pressure coming in from Valley. And good to have Rashini Turner's oh, sister, on. Anisha, watching in from London. Knock she goes blue. up. Valley okay, fumble, but Taffy's on it. Taffy recovers the ball. And Milo. We're coming back though. So back for the scrummage which is absolutely the last yeah. thing that, yeah, that, that football better. club will want. I'm pretty sure that uh, Valley will first, probably first. scrum for the penalty here. Just about 15 metres out. And just on the 15 metre line would give Crush. Valley a good opportunity to put it to the corner. So. Football club have absolutely got to dig in here. Set. Bailey got going and Valley's got the penalty. And Kia Harawini immediately asked Bella to have a look at uh, look at the posts. So there's about three minutes to go to half time. And with it being finals football. When you get that opportunity to get a score on the board, Kim, you have to take it. You've got to take uh, it, especially so close to half time. That's three against the tight heads. 
We've had quite a few opportunities. As we said, they've played so much of this game kind of between the, the halfway line and the 22, if not quite up toward that try line. Now it's time to just get some points on the board. The defense from Football Club has been absolutely awesome. They've been under a lot of pressure in this half, but they certainly haven't cracked. Yeah, been an absolute wall. Really made it difficult for Valley. Menaces at the rocks, which is absolutely what you need. Oh, and a beautiful strike there. Just inside the left upright from Milo. So the only thing separating these two sides is the boot of Bella Milo. One drop goal and one penalty, 6-0 Valley. Football club ready to kick off. As you said, minutes left of this first half. They'd love to get back to the change room with points of their own. Into the hands of AD there, Adrian Davis. Oh, and a great turnover there, Zoe Tees. That's a super restart there from Valley. Got a head over the ball. Not afraid to uh, to put her head into a dark place. Oh, Having uh, the earlier. workload of Zoe Tees every match, unbelievable. And interestingly, Gabby Rivers kicks to the corner, and that is a decent kick. Mm. Takes play down to about 10, ten metres. First time that uh, football club have really had some pressure, and the oh. it's overthrown into the hands of Lung. Dar feeds it to Taffy. Oh. Taffy is on the go again. Just keeps those legs pumping through contact. Taken back. And they pull the ball to Milo. A really good clearance. Georgia, Georgia cut. cut on the uh, gathers on the it attack. and runs. She's moved the ball all over to the other side of the pitch. Rashini Turner in the wide expanses there. Takes five or six metres, really good play. Again, football club plug that far touch line. Meg Richardson, good carry there. Andrea Lund trying to get hands in. Taken back. Buntin and Haruka oh. Yamatsu. This could be this dangerous. dangerous runner. Oh. Oh. Excellent tackle there. A huge contact there. Though she made some more meters, that one looks like it's gonna hurt. She is a fantastically exciting prospect, this young Valley fullback. Tyler Border there lining one up, big tackle. Great pressure. Well played there by Rachel Fong. And it's Annie, messy, but Annie Bunting just dribbling it forwards. She doesn't seem overly enamoured with the referee's decision, but he was right there. The Valley faithful in the far bleacher there. Valley men's prems singing uh, zombie. Unfortunately, are not in the final today, but they are here cheering on in full spirit for their women's club team. Crouch. So Lee with a feed to this scrummage. Will it be the familiar keep it in Set. and go for the penalty, then move it? Or will they try and catch football club? And look happy with the control there. It's They've out got though. the advantage. Milo crossfield oh. kick. Zoe Smith. Oh. She's not had much ball today. Create an absolute oh panic at the back there for football club. Zoe Smith's not the player you want to get the ball. She's the and leading uh, uh, try scorer for Valley so season this year. That was an informal warning. This time is a verbal warning. Next one, I made sense of it. She's got a hat trick recently on a hundredth game for Valley. But that 
They've shut her out nicely today, though. Rashini Turner there just having a chat with the ref. Feed it back to your players, right? Rashini Turner there calmly talking to the referee, talking technically and explaining uh, what she's feeling from the second row. Good captaincy there from Turner. Yeah, what? What? We've got some and subs happening. Football club here making a substitution. Coming onto the field, Jaron Seeker Kwok, better known as Natty, replaces Meg Richardson. Not in. Well, they're under. They're under a warning. Formal warning from referee Kamisa. So you four scrum penalties. Clearly, <laughs> Valley wanting to turn the screw. Faisal Solomona in the background there. Time's on. Sam Scott and her husband Crunch. Wesley Fusey. So Valley player Sting, who was originally on the team sheet for today, but unfortunately her meniscus Hold said Valley. cannot. An injury, she got in a, a late tackle. So Valley going for the shove again. This time angle. And football club. <laughs> absolutely loving that. One, you've got to stay straight. Tavia Nanaya Feta there. Samoan International. She had a grin ear to ear when she got up and saw that that penalty was coming her way. And they have dealt with tough scrums this entire match. You've got to think that the captaincy words from Turner there and Tease carries it hard into contact. Beautiful placement there as well, making it so easy for a team to get a quick ball. First knock on, half time. And that is half time. What an amazing half of rugby, Kim. Yeah. Only 6 0. We've got real finals rugby on here today. It's been a tight one, it's a contested one. It's a who can keep this up for the whole game one got to say yeah and I think the only point of difference between the two sides has probably been the Valley dominance in the scrummage but uh, one back there for football club so uh, maybe the worm is turning maybe the worm is turning 6-0 we'll come back to you after half time Who are prepared to make the sacrifices? Who are prepared 
to sweat, to bleed, to believe. We will be our champions. They have forged over 25 weeks, over 15 league rounds, over 96 games, and over 8,000 minutes of red-hot rugby. Get ready to pick your team and go. Yeah, it, go, it still goes. Oh, yeah. um, right. But no, that, that last one was not fair. Okay. Um, the far start, the side I'm not on is really good. Everything else is fine, yep. Yep, just keep that channeled. Good stuff. Valley, let's go. And so welcome back, half time. See the coaching teams coming this way. Kevin West, the head coach for Valley Ladies. Andy Hall and Chris Garvey marshalling the troops at Football Club. Football Club ready to kick off. Valley was still in their circle, still having a few more chit chats. So after 45 round robin games, two semi-finals. It comes down to this final 40 minutes for these ladies, the two best squads in Hong Kong. Here we go. Six nil to Valley. Oh, and a great take there by Inglis. Really committed herself to that and came forward onto that ball. Just having a crack over there. Milo. Outside. A little fumble, but it went backwards. Ball pulled back into the 22 and slightly overhit by Milo out on the full. The yep. So is this the uh, the foothold that Valley are looking? Oh, sorry, Club are looking for to get back into this game. A little, a little try score right at the beginning of the second half. And Cheryl Gourlay, the Centurion, carries it. Bunting just through the hands of Rivers, but she recovers the scraps. Agnes Chan over the top. Oh, and some great work there from Georgia Cut. Rachel Fong digs in. Turner, great footwork there. Going into the contact. And as ever, Zoe Teese with a really good clean out. Aya Feta goes off her knee, but it looks like Valley have come up with the scraps here. Milo with a huge boot. And uh, ball just into our commentary position here, Kim. So Laptops flying, we're okay. This line out right in front of us here. 
Football Ooh. club have certainly come out into the second half, looking focused and ready to go. So Fion got with this throw, Hong Kong international, PE teacher, and a great pianist by all accounts. And some good oh. darts at the front of the line out there. Sprinting the off, Katie McLeod still going. She's eventually brought down and Fong comes to this tight side again. They obviously feel the meters are to be made down the blind side. McLeod after that great run, another good carry. But Inglis is in on the ball. Poor pass from the base there. Rivers stops. Oh, looking for the space. She's Georgia cut. Former England students rugby league player. Carries the ball really powerfully. Bunting to oh, Zoe yeah. Tease. Once again, difficult and to stop as Zoe Tease always makes a few more meters than you think she Andrea will. Andrea Lung yep. showing some huge commitment here. There's some space Bunting. here. Bunting. Back inside, not a great pass. Back to the penalty, number two. On the yellow line, yellow line. Rashini Turner calling for the squad to come. And Coming so back, back to the right side for the football club. Number two, seat ball, It's about ball. 18, well, maybe 15 metres out, and Turner asked for a shot to goal. Football club, of course, uh, yet to have any points on the board, so really good opportunity here for a kick. So T runner Biddy Sefton, looks like Rachel Fong is going to be the kicker. We've got 40 seconds. So the call from the referee that there's 40 seconds to go. Obviously, in the Six Nations, there was huge controversy mm. around the timing of, of kicks. And uh, Italy went so close to beating France with a ball falling off the tee. And the kick is good from Fong. And she cuts the deficit early in this second half. 6-3. Game is on. And we can absolutely tell that this is finals football. Their last two games have served up 80 and 50 points. And uh, here we are, 6-3 and no tries. Valley's turn to kick off. It's a Bella deep, Mila. Heads deep left, kick. very deep. Well taken, though. So McLeod has really, uh, really done some work she left it and then with a couple of breaks inside the Valley 22 and a good kickoff receipt there. Valley uh, no looking ready to Red make some off. subs Red here. Katie McLeod yeah, hails from Canada. She's played for both under 18s and under 23s and BB Lee now comes on half back sorry when I say one I mean loose head yeah last time stay straight so it's BB's first season with us she played with Tai Po previously so Thank you, Sandra McKay, for your woohoo in Six. the chat as Fong feeds this football club scrummage. Oh, that's another great scrummage from Valley. But the referee allows it to go, and Fong comes away with the ball. She's done really well there. Fighting to get through. She's making some good meters there, Rachel Fong. I've seen football club with out of nine. Aya Feta drives in hard, drops her shoulder. Now Turner. And Taffy is all over that one. Wins a great turnover. Huge 
huge cheers from the Valley bench, Charlotte. And Valley go quickly. Oh. But there's been a knock on. And it's obviously a uh, not 10. Rosie Inglis down here. Right She's off. really had a great game for Valley. And so Camisa gives a. Brown time off. Yep, time is off. We've got time off. And Give her Gabby, a little moment. Gabby Rivers came in hard on Rosie Inglis as she uh, didn't catch that ball. And I just think the sheer shock of it, bit of whiplash. Valley will definitely want her to uh, get to her feet and carry on. She's been a crucial part of the uh, tight five for Valley. Yeah, she's been a great ball carrier today. Couple good steals. Really good day on the pitch for, for Rosie. She's looking so good. Looks like it's gonna give Milo another opportunity to go for three points here. Looking a bit like a <laughs> superhero pointing towards his posts. Hydration specialists out. T needs to come in. It helps when your T's being brought by a super speedy winger. Hello, Milo. Nadia giving herself a reasonable job of distance to recover the tea, should this not go over. <laughs> so Milo lines this up, longest attempt she's had so far today. And it's off to the left. So Bunteen with this 22 dropout. Straight into the hands of Karen So though. And she just drives really, forward. Really good drive. Katie McLeod. As I said, she's really, really making some telling plays early on in this second half. Runs and a really good jackal. Super work there from the football club defence. Not, oh. not out, but unfortunately not safely into the hands of a Valley player. So a missed touch there from football club. But Zoe Smith, I think she was probably planning what she was going to do once she caught the ball and didn't get it into the bread basket. Certainly a bit of space there for her to get running if it had gone to plan. Kings Park here packed out today. Probably at least a couple of thousand people in the ground to see the finals of the Nanfung Group Seawit Premiership Finals Day. Fong with the ball. Valley but they go them. back straight. Bunting with a good ball. Now Georgia cut. Oh, Beautiful steal Yumatsu, there from Valley. Absolutely fantastic work on the ground there. Georgia. Bella Milo pushes the ball deep oh. and it bobbles into touch. Master kick there from Bella Milo. But a fantastic break there from uh, Georgia cut. And uh, the ball went loose and young Haruka Yamatsu came up with a fantastic steal on the floor. Bella Milo so drills a kick down the touchline and the pressure is all back on football club. Great throw though, Turner off the top. Just so solid in their line arts football club. Gourlay carries that hard. Taken back. And they kick deep. 
And here's Yamatsu. She's got plenty of space. Tucks oh. the ball. Unfortunately for her, she runs right and into Gabriella Rivers. Her awareness there to let the ball go and immediately pop back up with it. She has some bright future in the game, that young lady. Football club, half of the grandstand are cheering. You can see quite the clear divide there between the Valley fans and the football club fans. You're on the line. I can see Charlie Higson Smith leading the cheer squad there. Adam Frampton. Not to be outdone, though, the Valley well Boys. Well, over 250 there. people watching in now. Valley Boys in full song again. Oh, an overthrow there, and Tanya Dar swoops onto it, keeps her feet really well. Andrea Lung supports her. Valley are moving it out wide. Oh! Doesn't quite get to Tyler Border nicely. Forward Unfortunately, pass. it's a forward pass for Valley. Yep. You have an option. Forward pass straight into touch. Do you want the line out? Line out calls. Football and club. A good good go call the there from Football Club. Opting to take the line out rather than the scrummage. Thumbs off. Yeah, red two. Red two, sub. Red number two. Oh, Andrea Lung. Her work is done for the day. She has played an awesome part in this game. She's absolutely emptied the tank there. But she's replaced by Tiffany Fu. And uh, Fion, Fion got there, just lets that uh, line out throw drift on the wind. Tiff's going to come straight yeah. in for a, a Valley scrum there. We're wishing her luck. She's got a driver's test this week. <laughs> and Taffy has gone into the front row onto the loose head side. Tiff's gone into loose forward. Karen so is moving into eighth man. So a bit of a shuffle round there for Valley. So, BB, it's another good scrummage by Valley. Keep Karen it, keeping keep, it in. Keeping the ball in. Good control there. Into midfield for Milo. Borta comes off her wing. Milo cleverly gets in for the clear out. Rosie Inglis back in for more action. Milo double pump and Yamatsu's come up from fullback another good carry really good work on the floor there and AD Davis carries it straight back into the guts there Georgia Cat being a right menace in the oh, racket she should be Use it. Valley pushing the ball right oh show and go it hasn't worked out well a football club defence though, just so aggressive you need to be and now. relenting. Tanya Dar popping up in the midfield, supported by Inglis. It's a really powerful run through the gap there. BB Lee gets in on uh, the ball, knocked down. So she runs straight back in. Playing under advantage here. Milo carries to the line. Got some fresh Sorry, legs on there. Charlie. Tip drives it forward. Yes. Kia Harawini in there. Milo puts the oh. ball deep. Borta's chasing. <gasps> and the ball beats everybody there. So I think we'll be coming back for the penalty advantage. No advantage. The second half has certainly felt the a lot more frantic. No, we're going back for the penalty. It was a so. Only about 55 minutes on the clock, so still 25 minutes to go in this game. It's breathless here at Kings Park in Hong Kong. So the penalty right in front of the football club faithful there. Got a great contingent there, football club supporters. Of course, they've got a team uh, in three finals here today. Um, winners of the men's uh, second team 
We've now got the women's and later on we've got the men's premiership where football club will appear again against Hong Kong Scottish. Um, I'm just starting to notice 13 get involved in the game a bit too much. So you can just I need time to have a word yeah, so when you have the next downtime, just pass the message on to her. So a message there from Kamisa asking for Agnes Chan to just remain a little bit calmer. It's Tanya Dahl with the throw into this line out. Oh, bit of an overthrow. Reva Brill trying to get to the ball. She doesn't quite make it. Knocked the football online. club picked the scraps up there, but just spilt the ball forward in contact there. Zero Lung. She's really put herself about in this game so far. Focus, just keep left in my mark, right? Right, that's the left. So, this is an opportunity for Valley. I'm pretty sure that Bella Milo will be asking Tiffany Fu to keep this at her feet and drive, drive, drive. Finds. Just about 15, Fudge. 16 meters out from the football club try line, almost center field. Drive, they do. Use it. The referee, no interest in a penalty. Duck. Zoe Smith. Bundled into touch again. She's really had absolutely zero space in this game. Football Club have done a tremendous job of shutting that threat down. Uh, step across, Valley, step across. Everything was going uh, towards that touchline right from the get-go. Fion got with the throw. Valley will try their best to get and in the way. Turner has been absolutely supreme in the line out. Yeah, she's, she's never on made the, it look so easy. Never on the ball. Rachel Fong pops that over the top into the hands of Milo and Yamatsu steps through the contact, not held, gets up and goes again. She's a never say die player. Tyler Boyda. a great line there. Valley go back left. <laughs> Tiffany Funa, new legs going straight. Left again, Tanya Da, always there in the middle of the action, Tanya Da. Going right again. Duck Lamb takes it to ground. You feel that this is the moment, Kim. Great work driving to about four meters short of the line here. Good stuff from River Bull. We're Bella going. Milo oh, throws it onto the ground. Oh, we've had, had a bit of a head on head clash oh, here. Off. It'd be Valley uh, four, but we've just got a rugby collision here. Refs are calling time off. Yeah. Both diving for the ball there. I think it's Rachel Fong and Taffy have come off worse there. Both been immense players for their respective teams. Yeah. So really hope everyone's okay. <laughs> never, uh, never good to see, but it's good that uh, the referee has called that as just a pure rugby incident. They were both diving onto the same loose ball. Yeah. But an uncharacteristic uh, mistake there from Bella Milo, pushing that ball onto the floor there. In fact, it's not Rachel Fong, I think it's Agnes Chan. She's um, she's a tough character. Has played both sevens and fifteens for Hong Kong. And getting some water there from the Valley Carriers. Just showing the really good spirit of this game. To be honest, it's been really good now, so the warning's gone now. Yep, they've done everything right, so. Skipper Herowini there, just having a quiet word with the referee, yeah, it's your asking ball. for a little There's bit of this help for the penalty. She saw a smile. So Taffy there getting a bit of a turban on.
And uh, the last couple of scrummages, although Valley have had the upper hand, the referee's not been inclined to give the penalty. Um, the scrums have got better. So oh, just talking now, he, he feels yeah. the scrums have gotten a lot better in chats with Roshini Turner. I'm sure that at 6-3, he doesn't want to have to be giving a penalty that might be a, a game-deciding no. <laughs> event. would rather see the ladies uh, deal with it, but uh, Valley really need the dominance of this scrummage. <laughs> but after the uh, the previous games that, uh, that they had, 71-10 and 44-14, football club have really steeled up today it's been fantastic to see we've got almost 300 people watching in from around the world give us a shout out let us know where you're from and who you're cheering for we've still got 22 to go as well so the referee says that there's 22 minutes right, to go, go so there is Lines absolutely from. heaps of time we'll use yellow line as the mark. so far the only score of this second half is a penalty kick yeah, so from rachel fong bringing it back to a three-point game uh, uh, just wait andy is there a sub is there a sub being made no just checking oh, for right, no. right. you're either, you're either if subs are coming on or not. So we, we can't do head assessment. It's either a blue card or it's not. Uh, we're just debating whether we take a head assessment here or not. Uh, do you need me to blue card her? Blue, ca blue card is concussion. <laughs> so in Hong Kong, we have a blue card for concussion protocol. There's no head injury assessment. It's recognise and remove. No, there's no th that's it. You're, you're done. We don't, have we don't have HIA. So it's either a blue card or you're getting a sub as a tactical. Okay. Right. Right. We're going to sub her. Right, she's there. Chosen uh, to sub her. Welcome to Nicola Camisa. All the way from Portugal. Cheering for the referee. James Elliott from the Outback in Queensland. They have electricity out there, James. <laughs> James, of course, a former Valley women's coach. His son is still in Hong Kong playing for Tigers. Time's on. Uh, so after a fairly lengthy break there, Bind. it's a Valley scrummage. Not too far out from the try line, so Bally can get a little bit refocused oh, here. A really good scrummage again here from Bally. Karen so trying to keep that in. Finally gives the advantage, and now Valley go. Pull the trigger. Bella Milo striding through, gets mown down about a yard short. Going for the and pick a little though. dig in there, right under the shadow of the posts. Ad Davis takes a dig at it. Kia Harawini is over the top of this. She's trying to bundle oh, this she's off. she's over. It's a try for Valley. That's the first try of the game. And Kia Harawini takes the responsibility as the skipper, and she comes up with the ball. Look at that smile. And I'm pretty sure that Father Dino will be very, very happy down there in the Waikato. Going all the way there? And Jacob Salonga from Northampton. An absolutely famous, uh, famous place. I lived in Andy. Northamptonshire for many years. Yeah. Is that why it's famous? Absolutely. Right, say again. Three blue. She was subbed off and the Ochoz. Canadians love Valley. So, Milo. Unless it's for, are they doing it as an injury replacement? Took his 58 minutes to get a try. Yeah, it's injury replacement, yeah. Okay. How will the 
the last 20 pan out. You got 30 oh. seconds. See, now you were talking about Italy just now. The ball's come off. It has to be injury through foul play. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Milo lines this up. <laughs> oh. oh. And oh. hits, hits the woodwork. Time's off. Just need to check a sub that's coming back on. I blame so the So 11-3 with about 20 minutes to play. I would say that the missing of that... Uh, that it has kick. to be injury through foul play. <laughs> yes, it has to be an injury through foul play for her to come back on. So the referee and the fourth officials here. To drop down to 14 and go uncontested unless you want to keep her on. Being yep. very, yep. Yep. very, very clear there. And uh, Aya Feta yep. has so been has struggling be with an ankle injury for, for a number of weeks now. Oh, okay. yeah. I see Football Club try to bring okay. Megan Richardson back on, but unfortunately, she was just a normal sub. She wasn't taken off for an injury through foul play, therefore she cannot come back on. I actually, oh, oh. fantastic take there by Rosie Inglis. Rosie She's Inglis playing out of her boots today. Lovely take in there from Rachel Fung. It was a high one from Bella Milo. She kicks it back, but it's into the you hands of Haruka. We spoke about how so dangerous she is. She's looked after that well, and Inglis is on with that one again. She's bringing the fight today for Valley. Oh, Tiffany Fu. Oh, five or six meters after contact there. Milo to Karen Soy. Directly up the middle, not a stranger to contact. Ah! Oh. Ball just lost on the floor there. This game has absolutely come alive. I'm uh, not entirely sure that uh, the refereeing team have got that right. Aya Feta and Meg Richardson are both on, designated. Yeah. Um, Designated front rowers, so unless Richardson came off injured, mark, yeah. uh, if uh, Aya Feta is injured, Richardson can come back on and replace her in the front row. Um, doesn't need to be foul play for front row. Um, unless there is some weird uh, law variation in Hong Kong. Bind. But Fong with the feed. Six. Hold, hold your weight. Herowini on this tight yeah. head side. But they've gone round, walking, walking around. stepped around on, on the, the loose head side there, Valley, and give away the uh, the penalty. You see Kat Rosinski is on the field. Oh. Uh, she won a, a second division netball final today. <laughs> Double finals for Valley. So football club fighting for this. You feel in this low scoring game they have to be the next the next team to score if they've got any chance. Huge cheers from the Valley bench there. And the Ochoas are watching in from Randwick which I assume is Randwick in uh, New South Wales. Crouch! So Bind. just about 15 minutes to go. You can see Kat Rosinski the in there is flank. This is uh, a, a move for her. She played last season at centre. I'm actually loving seeing a home move. She's only moved recently into the forward pack. Tiffany Fu with a really good break there. Tyler Borders got some space. She's such a strong runner. BB Passes Lee with a great trailing run on the inside there. Borter into half back. 
Inglis slightly on the back foot, but she gets gets moving on to the front foot. And Milo straight in on the uh, clean out. Hurawini, da. Tanya Da oh, oh. absolutely sits her opposite number down there. Pass is full, says Tanya Da. We're going right, say Valley. Tiffany does well and good intervention there from Rosie Inglis and Bella Milo slightly isolated. Rosie Inglis, Inglis again. She, oh, unfortunately loses it. I wanted to say That's it went backwards. It did not. Her... Uh, Rosie Inglis, if we were able to count her number of uh, interventions in the game, carries, tackles, line out takes, kick off, kick off reception. Oh. Putting in a shift. Everyone looks extremely happy for a breather. Let's go, girls. The second half is really up the ante, it's really up the pace. Yeah. Time's on. So 11 3. And Rashini Turner has Crouch. gone back to number eight. Fine. Caitlin Morrill there is in at nine as well. Former Six. Scotland under 20. From Tyndale in the UK. Oh, Turner. Mm. Steals a yard or two. And a chip over the top. And Yamatsu has got some space here. Eyes the uh, eyes what's in front of her. It's a beautiful tackle there. Inglis again. Annie Bantin's really had to put in a lot of defensive da. work. Oh, some good work there. Good mm. hands from Fu. That's a lovely Tyler forward. Porter trying to get free on the edge there. Football Club have done such a great job of shutting off Valley's space on the outside. And Rosinski there, slightly isolated. Tanya Daha pops up in the midfield. And Yamato onto the ball and she loses it in contact there. Got Valley physio running on. Yeah, I think there's uh, an injury on this uh, near side touch line. Taffy, man is, num is injured. Biddy Sefton there. I think we've got a bit of cram. Biddy Sefton helping out. Got off. Hydration squad zooming on. There's Kate Spencer, former Valley captain. And we've got Megan Davies, who is Rosie Ingler's mum. She is having an absolute stormer of a game. Very Megan. proud of you, she says. We are all proud of Rosie, I'll say. Watching in from the Bay of Plenty. Must be late in the evening down there. Tyler Porter there. She's seen uh, seen the ball more in the last five minutes than she probably has for most of the game. Yeah. A lot of ball coming onto this right wing for her. Football club have certainly liked her to play as well. She's had a lot of defensive work to do. They've liked to come up the, their left side. Um, Rebecca Thompson looks like she was considering go. offering um, the ref water. We've just had a lot of stoppages. I'm not going to keep stopping the game now for cramp. Oh, you're fine. Yep. Right, so. Let's do cramp, babe. Yeah. That's too much. So 13 minutes to go, an eight point difference. And Taffy is down with cramp. Yeah. And the referee is uh, explaining that he doesn't want to keep stopping the game for cramp. You can't go between the seven and eight, that little right angle. Just stay behind, both feet behind the ball. Here as well. 
So Rashini Turner is also taking some uh, taking some treatment there. She has really played a captain's innings as well. Absolutely. Both these skippers have led from the front. She's been superb in her lineouts, but she's also just taken a lot of ball, taken a lot of hits. Been a calm head throughout this game. Right, but there's go. been off, probably a phase here, Kim, of about the last 20 minutes where Valley have uh, really started to turn the screw, I feel. Mm. Yeah, as we come into this last little stretch, it's the do or die time. You, you need to stop stopping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time's on. Kia and the heroini and the, the mics ref saying stay focused. Crouch. So the crowd there, Five. the club crowd a little bit subdued at the moment. Caitlin Morrill with a feed, and the oh. pressure comes on, and Turner absolutely oh. storming down the uh, channel there on the right wing. Immense from her. As much as Valley's had such strong scrum, so dominant, football club, known it's a weakness, have gone oh, so quickly to get that ball out of there, and really try to reduce the pressure. Another fantastic carry there from Zoe Tees, and Football club having oh. to crab sideways to try and go forwards. Ball knocked on in the tackle there. Football club uh, fullback under lots of pressure there. Right, so you're on the edge, Valley. So again. Football club opt for the line out rather than the scrummage. Oh, and a good trick play at the front there. They return the ball to Gott, who does really well. Big tackle there from Taffy. Tease offers herself again, taking those hard yards inside. Georgia cut. Hard to bring down. Fion got recycles herself. Football club are giving absolutely everything in this game. Really putting the phases together here. Caitlin Morrill. Caitlin Morrill, yeah. Not, not her favoured position at half back there. Cheryl Gourlay. Annie Bunting staying on her feet in contact. Morrill brings it to the left side here. Georgia Cut gets the ball up to Jamie Burke, who we've hardly seen in this game. Katie McLeod. Ah. Just loses the ball on the floor there. It was starting to look really promising for football club there. Front rowers like Fion got getting herself involved, but that was all started with that fantastic run by Turner. Yeah, a real bit of inspiring play there from Rashini Turner. We have Valley Scrum now. There's been a Real change in the mood of the referee around these scrummages, Crouch. although Valley are still on top. He seems Five. less inclined to give the penalty. Set. So BB Lee with a feed. And use it. Strong scrummage from Football Club this time. <laughs> Bella Milo. Oh, good, solid tackle. Met on the game line there. Rose Inglis takes it herself. Hopping forward on one leg there. Milo puts that hefty boot behind it. Oh. 
Yeah. And Jamie Burke on. just knocks that ball on. It was a huge high bomb from Bella Milo and she was under a little bit of pressure. But a much, much better scrummage from, uh, from Football Club last time, Kim. Oh, absolutely. So if you're left with a five, you're good. Especially Joe, as the, the clock Joe. winds down, you're tired, buddies. Yeah, left with a five, Tanya. Left with a five. Okay. Yep. And Joe Bardetti says, go ice. With about 10 minutes to go. It's getting very much the now or never for ice. They've got to score twice more. Set. Another good scrummage here from Valley, but it's a reset. Both sides are whipping around. Tavia Ayafeta scrummaging on virtually one leg here. Has done really well to hold up that side of the scrum. Yeah, because she was. Desperate to come off, but is sucking it up for her team. Crouch! Bind! So we've been issued a challenge uh, from Karen Dar, commentary team. What is your best generic commentator quote? Well, it's been a game of two halves, I would say. On the other hand, Nas. <laughs> oh. oh. And a very uncharacteristic handling error there from Bella Milo. She looked to break through there. Big smile on her face. She knows what a difference it would have made. So Caitlin Murrell with a feed to this scrummage. As I've said, in the background there, we've got quite a subdued football club crowd. Crouch. The tension in the ground is, uh, is palpable. Set. Reset. You good this side? I'm gonna and go one of the first scrummages to go down all day. Two of you, right? I guess there's some tired bodies out there now Lewis in the valley the front row or the valley front five. Hurrowini, Dar, Inglis and Davis have all played 75 minutes so far. I know we're near the end of and the also game, Taffy. Up that we got really well in the well actually, in the fact, the, the entire valley front five have played the entire game so far. Yeah. Crouch! Set. Moral with the feed. Turner. Managed to get it out quick still. Bunting carries it to the line. Cheryl Gourlay hits and spins. She's covered so much of this pitch today. Aya Fetter. Driving forward still. Off the knee, play on. Awkward ball there for Georgia Cat. Time your run. Cape. Moral goes to the air. Milo is waiting. Oh. And a small knock on there. Bunteen is onto it. The armoured gun up though. Great work there from Kate Lamoral. Ten roll. Ball just slipped from Milo's grasp. Gabby Rivers steps up. She needs to carve off a decent amount of uh, territory here. Just inside the Valley 22. Football Live haven't spent too much time down here. 
And we go close. Another Valley uh, old girl there, Rocky in the background. And another take at the front there. And they go storming down the, uh, the tram line. Oh, but Rosie Inglis once again has come away with it. Zoe Smith there in at nine. Taffy. Oh, oh what a break this girl. is. Finds the space. She's still, still going. going. She's looking. She finds Karen So, whose dream it is to be a wing. Valley flooding forward as football club try to get behind the ball. Kiharwini cleans up a little handling mishap there, but it went backwards, so we're okay. Valley fighting to get forward. Georgia Cut really pushing there at the, the rack. Davies with another good carry there. Play on, she was rolling, you ran into her. The referee not being fooled there. Dar with a good double pump. Karen So scrambles the ball back up and she's just fighting through players there. What an effort from Dr. So. Because you'll find her uh, working hours just over the road at Queen Elizabeth Hospital. The fight there from Karen So when once she uh, hit the first contact was absolutely amazing. But uh, ends up giving the penalty away. Any bunting here with the boots. Red stop, please. Red 11 off. So red number 11. Stop. Uh, you take the edge here. here on Zoe the edge. Smith makes way for Etta Kwong. Super to see Etta coming on. She's played a lot of games for Valley second team, the Reds. Zoe Tease picks up the scraps, but Taffy is all over that. No, that's good. First was a high tackle. It's on the, no, no, no. It's on the 15 because the line-out wasn't over. It's on the 15 because the line-out wasn't over. I've really so enjoyed how clear this ref has been with all his decisions explaining what's happening. There's no confusion. So the ball goes into touch, on knock on into touch, but I'm sure the club through Fionn Gott will all bobbles, but Turner gets the ball back to Fionn Gott. Bunteen. Some solid defense here from Valley. The last thing they want to do is give up a score and have a frantic last couple of minutes. Zoe Tees again to the fore. A classic mint. Annie Bunting taking on the line and taking five or six metres. They're only about. Oh. Huge tackle there from Bella. And the ball <laughs> thrown way too high for Cheryl Gourlay, and she gets hit really hard by Bella Milo. Last 30. It's really the last thing you watch when you can see the ball is, is coming above you and you're just waiting for a big tackle from Bellamy. I think this is going to be the last play of the game. Uh, you've got to start the same side, then you can come round. It's a silly law. It's a, it's a silly law, but it's the law. Crouch! Bind! Set! So I think all Valley have got to do is win this scrummage, get the ball off the pitch. And that decision goes the way of Valley. Big, big smiles. Big, big smiles. So Taffy taps it. Birthday girl gets to get the ball and out. That is it. Valley go back to back. Grand champions. Football club have absolutely played their part in this magnificent final though, Kim. Having lost 71-10 in the previous uh, 
round game to come back and push Valley all the way to 11-3 is huge. Today was a tough final. Every point had a, a, many a tear, sweat, bit of blood getting in there. What a beauty of a final game. What a fight. Absolutely. And I think uh, the absolute plaudits in that game have to go to the Valley front five. Oh. They were absolutely outstanding. Um, Bella Milo carrying the ball to the line. Her kicks were just tremendous. But uh, the never say die from, uh, from football club. And they were led immensely by Roshini Turner. Absolutely outstanding, as was Rachel Fong, Katie McLeod, Octavia Ayafeta there. Really, really fantastic final of women's rugby and uh, some great play in the outside channels as well from Valley. Um, and uh, as always, I'm impressed again by the young fullback, Haruka Yumetsu, 17 years old, is going to be some player in the future. Well, yeah. she's a great player now, but she's only going to get better. Absolutely one to watch. Big hugs all around for Valley. The coaching team comes in. It's been a little bit of a tough and up and down season for them. They peaked at the perfect time. They came together at the perfect time. And they've show, yeah, just shown uh, what seasoned winners they are. Yeah, as, uh, as we've said, though, football club, um, they shouldn't be cowed by this. They are the league champions. And, uh, you know, they had a fantastic season, beat everybody. The only team they couldn't beat was Valley this year. So, uh, happy Valley rivals. And there'll be a nice moment. We can see Kim Barham on the field here with the trophy. She's a former Valley player herself. And although she'd be happy handing the trophy over to anyone, it'll be especially special for her to be giving it over to a Valley team. So we've got about 300 people watching in from around the world. Thank you all for turning up. And I'm pretty sure that there'll be one very, very proud father somewhere in the Waikato, Dino Hurawini, as he sees Kim Borum hand that trophy over to Kia, the try scorer, Hurawini. Big smiles all around from the Valley Girls there. And fantastic to see the kids there. What a team. And club chairman there in the background, Trey Diva. All smiles for the Valley family. So everybody getting in. It's a massive family club, Valley. And uh, so good to see them uh, getting to have this day. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, Tanya Dar, having been the coach at Sandy Bay of uh, Yamatsu, Yamatsu with her arms around her coach, Tanya Dar there. Very special moment. And and here we go. Kim Borum. Second team players, we've got a lot of the injured players, former players, everyone have come out, part of the Valley family for life. So Kim Borum there, who is on the board of the Hong Kong China rugby, does a fantastic job as she has done for many years for rugby as a whole. And uh, referee team led by Francisco Camisa, who I thought had a tremendous game, as you said, towards the end of the game there. His, uh, oh, sorry. Can't get in the way of the birthday celebration. But Taffy. We mentioned her often because she deserved to be mentioned often. It was a big game for her today. She really pulled it in. I think there'll be big celebrations tonight. And uh, we need to see the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah what a fantastic effort from all of the ladies so uh, as I've said football club played an absolutely full part in that game and uh, did a tremendous job and uh, 
they should not feel uh, anywhere near diminished. 11-3, Valley are the grand champions. Well, Kim, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Look forward to seeing you at the Football Club 10s. Oh, absolutely. We'll be on the mic again in the lead up to the big Hong Kong 7s, of course. The, uh, last, the last one at the, the famous one. old lady, the Hong Kong Stadium. So uh, looking forward to it. And uh, just one more to go, which is the men's premiership final coming up at 6.30 between Football Club and Hong Kong Scottish.